At molecular level, this disease is a problem of cardiac glue. All heart muscles are joined together by a sort of glue. We call that glue desmosomes. So desmosomes attach cells together like this. Arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy is a disease of proteins that make up the desmosomes. So you can imagine that if the cardiac glue is defective, if one stretches the heart a lot, the glue may come apart and the cells detach like this every now and then. And when this happens, the heart can go into a very fatal rhythm, which the individual may experience as a rapid palpitation, which the individual may experience as just a transient blackout. But in some cases, it may be the last time the individual takes a breath in because that will be sudden death. Uh, so that's the molecular basis of this condition. How do we diagnose this condition? Well, many people have no symptoms at all, so we don't always rely on symptoms, but the symptoms that one should look out for are palpitation, dizziness, and blackout. And these symptoms are much more common in athletes, and this would make sense because when one is running or sprinting, one is stretching the heart muscle quite a bit. So if the glue is defective in that situation, it's more likely to come apart during exercise than when somebody is sitting down having their lunch or studying at school. So the death rate is much more common in athletes. In fact, an athlete is five times more likely to die of a rhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy than an individual who has it but doesn't exercise. This condition is not easy to diagnose and relies on a plethora of cardiac conditions. To diagnose it, we need to perform 12 DCGs, which are simple electrical tracings of the heart, echocardiograms, which is a cardiac ultrasound of the heart, an MRI scan, which is a more sophisticated imaging of the heart, 24-hour ECGs, exercise testing, and signal average ECGs. So we need to do lots and lots of tests. In many, in many cases, we can see the classic ECG abnormalities, and we can see that the right part of the heart is not working. But in a small, important number of cases, we may not see the classic features of arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy. And this is an important point, because at this junction, many cardiologists would say, there's nothing wrong with you. I know you blacked out without warning, but that was probably a simple faint. A blackout without warning should always be taken very seriously. And an individual in whom all the tests have come back negative, but the blackout without, was without warning, should be monitored or should be advised not to play sport until we're on top of all of this, because sometimes investigations in the first few years of developing this condition properly will be negative and then start showing themselves with time. So advice about refraining from sport, advice about ongoing follow-up, monitoring that individual is very important.